Good afternoon everyone. Uh, we're in the shop right now and we're going to take a look at this Tiger Cat and see why this thing is not charging. It's, uh, I don't know what's going on with it, but it just, the battery went dead. I don't know if it's really went bad on it or the stator plate is bad or I don't know what's going on. So I'm going to have to jump start to get it started. And then uh, we'll run a couple tests and see what's going on with it. First thing we're going to go over is my jump box here. I bought this, uh, Oh, probably about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, because this mower was going dead. It's the GB40 by, what is it, NoCo or Genius Boost or whatever, and this thing works really well. Right now it's, uh, uh, what the heck is that, 75% right now, so it didn't quite get charged up all the way, but um, we're going to hook this up and get this thing started. This mower does have a, a push button start, and so I don't have to be on the seat. And she is dead, so let's get her hooked up and let her get jump started here. And just turn it on. It says you're supposed to let it set for about three minutes, but I don't have the patience for three minutes, so...
it's still not putting out enough volts even though I did ground it out because I was going to double check that. Always want to check all your grounds to make sure that um, you yeah, don't have a problem there. And of course it's going to be dead. I'm not going to be able to start this. So um, I'm not sure all everything you heard but hopefully you heard everything. Uh, testing everything uh, the best way I know how. That's the only way I know how. I may not be good at instructing on how to do that, but uh, you got to get the idea of what's going on. And it's just not quite getting enough 12 volts in there. We're getting enough 12. It's getting 12 volts in there. So as I'm shutting it off and starting it through the day, it's going dead. And everything that's drawing 12 volts is just drawing power out of it. So uh, tomorrow is supposed to be raining all day. So hopefully the dealership has a regulator in stock. If not, I'll be uh, going to dealership. The dealership, I'll get one. As, uh, somebody's going to have one. It's just a Kawasaki engine. So anyhow, uh, hopefully that'll be the fix of it, which it should be. Um, unfortunately, they're $75. So because I bought one here a few years ago, and that's what it was. But anyhow, so uh, that's going to be it on my video for today. So I thank you for watching and subscribing. And check out the links in the description box below. We greatly appreciate. It. Everybody have a good evening, and we'll see you on the next yard.